All right, welcome to another video. I'm gonna be reviewing Phantom Rose 2 Sapphire. Now this game is one of the few games, the first one at least, was on uh, the iPhone. And it was really, really good. It's one of the few games on the iPhone that's good. I might do like a series where I'm covering iPhone games because most of them are trash and some of them are good. But the first one was really good. Now the second one's on Steam, so let's check it out. All right. So it goes through the turn. This looks a little different than the first one. Oh no, no, Ryan. That was the uh, that was the floor. Okay. So basically, what happens is the enemy cards go in first, and you slot your cards in in between. It's telling me what to slot in, but um, I mean it goes in order from left to right. So you have to look at what they're doing and kind of like order yours as best as you can. But then you see how now the cards I used are on a cooldown? Every every used card enters a cooldown status. Which um, goes down at the start of each turn, right? So yeah, this is the attack power, this is the barrier power. Alright, so he's gonna heal, or barrier for four, but six is gonna kill. Okay. So yeah, this game is, uh, the first game is really good. It's on the, um, on the iPhone, like I said. I'm gonna be skipping these cin cinematics and everything like that, though. I have to hold it. All right. You'd be surprised how much depth can come in. So you can go to the top path or the bottom path. They're both the same, so I'm gonna go to the bottom. Doesn't matter. All right, so we got barrier for four, attack for three. This gives me three barrier. That's exactly how much I need. Let's read these. Damage plus three of previous or next card is an attack card. So previous card is an attack card, so. And I forget if that last battle to battle. Like, I forget if uh, they're on cooldown this battle. Looks like they are... Yes, looks like they are. Because there was these two. Okay. Two barrier, three attack. Plus five damage if card has barrier, so I can put that there. Because there's... he's going to get barrier this turn. Attack by damage of six plus position. So this goes good later. Alright, so I got hit for three. And I'm gonna want to heal. Because your your health does carry over round to round. Pain, take damage. So I can do heal. And this one will be six plus four, if I'm understanding that right. And it'll get through this seven here. Here we go. Alright. Alright, that's a little... <laughs> I don't remember the art being this weird on the phone, but... Um... Oh, gems. Are these... Is this like a pay mechanic? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. I don't know. I don't know how you get these diamonds yet. I did pay for this game, so I'd be surprised if it's like... Eh, I guess I wouldn't be too surprised if I was paid to win in it, but... I did pay for it. Oh, clear silver adventure. Okay. Uh, should I search or fight? Search. I haven't done that yet. Point of interest. This one's on a crystal, so why not? Look for three cards to find the treasure. Next. Take it. 
Okay. Oh, I have to go straight. I thought I could go down. Probably just leave. Yeah. Okay. So we can heal at the camp, obviously, but I didn't need to. Zero evade status. Evade attack and status. When attacked, evades attack and status disappears. If this status is replaced, add remaining duration to the new buff status. So what's interesting about this game, or at least in the first game, is your statuses go down at the end of each turn by one. And you can only have one buff or debuff at a time. So you have to be really careful with how you're like managing your buffs and debuffs. It's, it's kind of interesting. So let's see. I'll just do that. Now he has evade. Watch, it's gonna go down. See how everything went down by one? Including my bleed and my buff. So it's just kind of weird how that works. So this is like a bleed build that this person has going. Discard destroys opponent barrier, attack once more, so I don't want barrier here for sure. Probably heal. Yeah. Now I attack twice, so should be. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, no. All right. I took more damage than I had to, probably. I did not see I was going to take damage there. All right. Actually, I can heal. You always want to heal if you can at the end of a battle because your health will carry over. And I will check if this game is like pay to win at the end here. I don't know how you get these diamonds or not. Pristine or bloodstain? Bloodstain sounds cooler. Gotta assassinate. Let's rescue a student. <clears throat> All right. Attack plus three damage. If the card is one of the first two cards on the field, which it is. Gain five adrenaline, which is a buff. Reduce incoming damage by two when attacked. But when the status expire, expires, so the status owner dies. So I'm assuming he's going to have ways to like keep this up for everyone play it like that. Um, probably this one, this one. So, reducing coming damage by two. This is six plus. So, this is seven. So, it should be good, right? I'll just put basic attack. All right, there we go. Not bad. I get to choose what to take. Eight. Let's do this one, I think. So I did get Sapphire, so it's definitely not at least totally pay to win. I don't know what these are. Like I said, I did pay for this game. Um, it can't be that bad, right? Oh, 
full heal. I'm gonna skip this again. Just because I don't know what these currencies are yet. Answer the card after this card if it's an opponent card. So I should put my weak card, right? Um, that's just a normal attack. Probably this. I get one thorn armor. It's gonna go away right away because everything goes down by one, but it's, that's fine. Click suit bleeding. That's this affects barrier. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that one. You should not be able in the first game. You can't switch out like this. So I'm glad you can in this game. Oh, I guess I'm just too hard. In have any debuffs he never will but it's eight damage eight damage is eight damage right all right attack twice opponent has no barrier okay As you unlock more cards, you start making decks that are, you know, more interesting, not just like random attacks and defense. Click three sensitive. Reduce the duration of buff statuses by one. When the status is replaced, add duration to the new debuff status. Attack. If card destroys opponent barrier, inflict two beat bleeding regardless of the card's most recent buff status. Let's try that one. I think there's three there was three stages in the first game so let's see how many there are in this game all right attack game four barrier and give own debuff status so i don't want to debuff this turn right attack plus three if it's one of the first cards in the field that's good of this card, right? right? More barrier. I can heal potentially. Attack. This is an exit attack card will ignore barrier, so no use to use a barrier. Attack plus five. The card user has barrier, so it should be eight. If I'm understanding this right, which means it should kill. I did not understand it right. <laughs> Attack. Plus five damage. Oh, if card user has barrier, not the opponent. Okay. So I don't, I needed to have barrier. Okay. Oh no. I can uh, inflict two bleeding with that. Oh, it does two damage. 
Wait, take damage by two times. I didn't know it was gonna be like that. All right, now this should this should be fine. That. All right. Attack. A card user has a debuff status. So that's me, card user. Increase it by one and give it to opponent. It's kind of cool. I'm running out of uh, space for my cards though. Eventually. I think you do run out of space. In the first game you did, I'm pretty sure. Attack, increase damage on the level of... Wait, increase damage by the level of the next card on the field. That's interesting. So I want to put a low level card there. I didn't even know these cards had levels, to be honest. Um, okay. Probably like... Raise duration of buff status by one. Increase the distance barrier. Can attack up if status duration is an odd number. And it's going to be increased by one. No, reduced by one. So it's going to be odd. Weird. When it attacked, it goes up. So I want to attack once, I think. Because this goes... This goes down one. If I attack one, it'll be even. So I want it to be even, right? Let's try it out. didn't get the uh, attack up. This can, this one can be complicated. I remember this from the first game. All right, let's see. If I don't want him to destroy my barrier. I think I just want to go, you know, attack heavy here, right? off. Yeah, there we go. It'll be easy. Or that. Just heal a little bit. All right. Attack. Recover HP by two times the number of attack cards on field. Plus does 10 damage. I'm wondering how this leveling works. I wonder how I like get like, level up my cards and stuff like that. Or back, activate scramble. So I don't want to do debuffs. Um, let's see. I also just want to use this just because it's like so good. And then I can go on cooldown faster, you know, rather than waiting. I do this one. This one destroys barrier, and I can inflict two bleeding. Let's see if that works. Got the bleeding. Give opponent five barrier. Weird. Attack and inflict damage of opponent's barrier and ignores barrier plus one. So it's gonna give me five. It's gonna do nine damage. I should really try and kill them this turn. Which it looks like I can do pretty easily. Assassinate, heal assassinate, something like that. Alright, not bad. 
brain gain two crystal status. That's a good card. Yeah, I'll take that one. So which one should I go through? Let's go down the bottom one. Or are they all this card thing? I don't remember them all being the same last time. No, they're not. Okay. Off. Haven't used you yet. Don't really care about you. I mean, I do. I, I need to dissolve five of them. I don't really have a lot of debuffs, so I'm not caring about you too much. Attack by damage of eight plus opponent's debuff. That card I use a lot. That card I don't. Oh wait, I'm just selecting them. They're not okay. Dissolve. 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 Need two more. This one's kind of lame. Um. Let's see. I don't really have barrier a lot, so let's take out armor bash. Red doll, very dangerous. Look for a blue doll, dangerous. Look for a gray doll. Feeling slightly dangerous. Let's see, let's see. For... Oh, it didn't work. Okay. So that's a lot of attacks. I wish I had that card that. Transform another one of my attacks into Shadow Strike. That's cool. So, this. Transform you into Shadow Strike. Cool. There's attack power of cards by one. I lose HP by one plus phase number. Strike, nine, then probably this one. No, actually, yeah, that one. A lot of damage there, though. I wonder if there's any consistency to like clicking those stars. Oh, we got a, a combat. Or a barrier, so I could put in the thing that destroys barrier. if I can and well this is good recover by number of attack cards on the field so I can just put in attack cards there we go nice all right that's good that's a really good card select your reward reduce opponent's HP by five reset cooldown of other cards on the field by this card and attack then reduce cooldown of magic cards <laughs> to be honest. Um, I don't know what a magic card is. Uh, Coda. Alright. Add three stress cards to opponent's deck. 
does nothing. Because it's not like I draw through my deck. It's like my deck is all out here, you know? So I wonder how that's going to work. Okay. cards do it does nothing it disappears when used or after battle why would i care about that oh this is why okay inflict damage by four times number of stress cards in opponent's deck and four barrier and give a go status to opponent so let's see i'm gonna get rid of a stress card I get rid of another one though. I might just have to burst him down and not worry about it. That's a lot though. gained faster than I can get rid of it. That's back and damage and damage. That the shadow strike. Will debuff. Um, and do I have something that increases their debuffs? So I can do that. Okay. I and mean, then he should be dead from. Plus three damage if the card is one of the first two cards. I hope I'm reading this right. If I don't die here. Nice. All right, so let's see. Another swift strike. This card is good, Star Shield. Attack, raise attack power of this card when cooldown of any card in deck is reduced or reset by card skill. I'm gonna take this one. Hook, 44% chance to activate scramble. Cool. Card case. Check limit by one. Card case. Add more item space. Okay, so this is where card case. I'm going to have to skip, don't I? Yeah, skip. Okay. Yeah, dissolve cards. Dissolve you. We're going to dissolve you. you. Alright, do I heal? I'm going to heal. I've been gaining... Gems. So like you gain gems and lose them. It looks like the gems are less the blue gems looks like they're less important than the red gems. What I can tell so far. Who knows? Alright. Fight a wandering one, because not. Cover by four, attack twice. So 
So Swift Strike probably. One of those. do this heal. I can get a better use of that. Yeah, probably not actually. Everything else requires two cards to kill anyway. Transformed to Iron Will status. Iron Will status. At end of phase, recover 3 HP. Attack power of cards by 1, reduce attack power of all cards by 2. So, they want to be playing an attack here. because I played an attack card. Recover HP by four times the number of attack cards used. So now it looks like I probably just want to play two attack cards. So this is four barrier. That one's not bad. So that that damage reduction was permanent, it seems. I did not accept I thought it was just for that turn. Something like this. Oh wait. I could have given my DUF to the opponent. I'll definitely do that here. Not that it matters because. See how the leveling works. So sometimes you can get different. These are the same card, aren't they? This one is Spirit Strike Plus. potion so that I can use in battle. So I can't use it. Uh... So I'll just skip it then. Okay. Can I use it now? So I can... Oh wait, no. I'm at 34. I thought it was lower. Give opponent 4 venom status. So I'm going to do the thing where I switch the debuffs around. Card user has a debuff. Increase it by one and give it to the opponent. That way, when I get the venom, I'll give it. I'll just give it straight to him. 
Um, so we'll do this. Alright, but that, that, was, that worked out well. Um, what's up? Opponent has at least five attack cards on cooldown. Sure these only go to level three. Like the I think I'm in the last act is what I meant to say. Resolve cards before I can leave. Cards not that great. This card's not that great. Game is a lot <laughs> like weirder art than I remember. So see how I broke the barrier there? That gave him uh, bleeding status. This is a buff. That's weird. So that buff will override this buff. That's how that works. So I'll do... Uh, there. Nice. That's a debuff status. Probably do a, like a heal here, right? Six. Back twice. You don't take the bleeding when you win at the end of uh, at the end of the turn. That's that's always nice. All right, I think this is the final fight. Uh, okay, back twice. Inflict three injury to opponent. So I have a card that gives him my injury, but it's on cooldown. I think. Yeah, it's this card here. Um, actually, I'll do Hardened.
permanent. Let's try it out. It was permanent, because it looks like this has its blue as if it got increased. Too. I forget I have that. Alright, this is good. Now I can do this. next phase cards so that the card users cards are the first and the last one well, let's see if I can kill him this turn probably can't this is plus three this is plus three it's 21 six should be 27 it, it works here we go Still going. Still on the last fight now. We got eight soul rows. Let's get those. Check over limit. Alright, so resolve. Resolve one of you. And final boss fight. Final boss fight, it looks like. All right. That's a lot of attack cards, which means, uh, would be good. Oh, no, it's off cooldown. On cooldown. Given my Debo status. Yeah, that's good. I can do that. I missed? What does that mean? Huh. You must have had uh, evasion somehow. I didn't see that. Okay. Evade all attacks. If status 
When attacked, reduce status duration. Evade all attacks if status duration is an odd number. So that means I can only attack once, really. Um, otherwise, yeah, the second one's just gonna miss. Use that, by the way. Forgot about these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the last fight, so. Okay. Card user has a Debo status. I do. Reduce opponent HP by six and reduce duration of Debo status. And this will give him bleed. Inflict four wound status to opponents. Okay, status so coming out the transfer. I think that's what I tried to do that one time. Um, strike. Should be death, right? Oh wait. Oh no. <laughs> I did not think I died. Now I'm going to give up. I don't want to spend those. I don't really know what they are. But that's been Phantom Rose Sapphire 2. The first game did have a little bit of grinding, but it wasn't really pay to win. Like you saw the bank slots and things like that. Yeah, you know, actually before, you know what? Let's not, let's not end it on this. Let's uh, check out monetization first. So you get card packs to unlock cards, but you can do that on your own. Skins. So nothing's... Great. Ooh, item space. Is there a way to get these gems? This is, can be earned by playing the game. I think the item space is the only real one that affects gameplay. I mean, I mean, I mean the cards do as well, but you can unlock those through other means. Let's see, this challenge got me some gems. I, I don't think it's really that pay to win. I do find it annoying to have these things in paid games, but I think for the most part, if it's anything like the first game, it's pretty fair. Because I remember the first game being... It was on the phone and it was free. So it did have this monetization to it. But um, it was pretty fair for the most part. It wasn't, you know... No huge walls or anything. Anyway. Phantom Rose Sapphire 2 is a very, very unique game. In the way that it's structured. You know, if you watch the video, you would know that. So, um, Thanks for watching.